the 70-year feud. Bomberner's Mill, a three-story, 20 by 40 feet grist and sawmill constructed from logs, was built by Jacob Smith in 1775. Smith replaced the structure with a larger 38 by 40 feet three-story stone mill in 1806. Another mill, Goods Mill, about 2,000 feet downstream, was built in 1737 and changed hands seven or more times up to 1813. Over the years, it burned down, so many times it became known as Burned Mill. In 1836, the owner of the upstream mill enlarged it more adding a second water wheel and diverting water to a reservoir for more constant power supply. Then, in 1842, the owner of the downstream mill, Burn Mill, enlarged his millress, requiring more water to turn the wheel. That's when the trouble began. The upstream mill, Baumgartner's, would be holding back water just when the downstream mill needed it most. Soon there was a feud between the two millers which lasted for 70 years. In the midst of all this, the covered bridge was built in 1860, and by the time Thomas Bombardner came to own the mill in 1870, the operation had switched hands several times. In 1877, Burned Mill, true to its name, burned down yet again, and again was rebuilt. Burned Mill would add to its dam, so that the water backed up all the way to Bombardner's. This, in turn, slowed his water wheel, preventing efficient operation. To get even, the miller at Bomberner would close his water gates cutting off the downstream current. Next, he would fully open his gates flooding the lower mill. The dam at Bomberner's was dynamited in response. Some say Burn Mill's dam was also blown up as a form of retaliation. However, the worst was yet to come. By 1913, the mill was owned by Edwin Diffenbaugh, who brought suit against Abraham Hess, the owner of Burn Mill. Diffenbaugh claimed the downstream dam blocked the creek to the point that the pooled waters were slowing his water wheel down. The claim also said that the dam had been raised by boards placed at its top, causing the water level to raise another six inches. The case was filed in January 1913, but would not be heard in court until November 1913. By the time it reached a court date, Edwin Diffenbaugh had been found one night in September by his son lying unconscious in his mill. His clothing had been tangled in a set screw, which caused injuries to the back of his head. There were claims by his son that Diffenbaugh had been murdered. Despite the death of Edwin Diffenbaugh, the estate moved forward with the case, which went to a jury trial in late November, 1913. Allegations of murder were never proven, but the Diffenbaugh mill was awarded $500. Neither mill could survive the coming modernization in the industry, and soon both ceased operation. By the late 1980s, Bomberner's mill was being used for farm storage. Burned mill has been remodeled into apartments.